The final segment in the remodel makeover is to take our single story Mediterranean style design and we're going to add a second story to it. So back into the program, previously in the segment we raised the entryway up three feet and we created a temporary room inside of the design, this room over here, and we also added three feet. So I'm just going to make this quick. I'm going to delete that back wall and that will lower that ceiling back to the original of the entire ceiling in that area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a second floor and I'm just going to use the main floor as the footprint and then I'm going to change the height of the ceiling. Right now it's an 8 foot ceiling. I'm just going to make that 109 for a 9 foot ceiling. And that's going to generate our second story. You'll see it in 3D change because we have our automatic roof on and so it quickly makes that roof structure off of the floor plan footprint. In my plan view on the left hand side, first of all you'll notice that I'm on floor two, so it automatically raised us up a story. And I'm going to do a few things in here. One is I'm just going to pull these walls across all the way. And then I'm going to remove the extra pop out here. Shift click, delete that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, pull the wall across and then I'm going to shift select the outer walls and remove those. And now that I have that done, let me go ahead and add a window over here. We'll just do that in our 3D view. Click and place our window. And we'll just click and place another window. And finally another window over here. Now for this window, I want to make that 30 inches square. So we'll set it to be 30 by 30. And let's change it to a fixed window. And let's set our frame, sorry, our lights to be roughly 2 by 2. And just normal. Select OK. So now you can see that window. So that's a 30 inch window. And if I select it, I'm going to use my multiple copy tool and I'm going to select that to be copied every 34 inches. So now that I have that selected, I'm just going to create a series of copies of four or five of those windows. Using my window tool, again, I'm going to draw a marquee around those. So I held the shift key down. Let's center those on the design. So now those are exactly centered. Now again, if you want this framed correctly, I would mull those windows. Mulling is a block operation. So I'm just going to block that. And now it will frame that as, as a single hole and single opening. And I might copy that. Let's use our sticky copy. And I might just copy one on each side of the house just for a little bit of variety. If I rotate around the back of the house, it looks a little plain. And the way the front looks, I like this approach. And I want to take these pop outs and the window and copy that around to the back. And I like to take advantage of the program and not do any extra design steps. So my approach will be the fastest that I can do it. So what I want to do is I want to delete the back wall. And I want to copy those front walls to the back. So rather than just deleting this wall initially, which will actually break our model temporarily and remove the floor, I'm going to draw a line using the W on the keyboard temporarily. I'm just going to draw a line right in the middle of the house. Now when I delete this wall back here, temporarily we're going to lose our room definition and we'll have a few things floating out in space for a minute. So now what I can do is select my wall tool, drag a marquee around those walls that I want, selected, and I'm actually going to deselect, I got too many walls here, deselect those little shed walls from the pop out below. Now I've got all of the items selected that I want. I'm going to use the copy tool and I'm going to reflect it around that line that we just drew. 
So that line served just as a temporary basis to allow us to do that since we deleted the back wall and it removed that. So we'll go ahead and remove that. And now when we rotate around here, let's maximize our 3D view, we added a little bit of variety onto the back of the house pretty quickly. Now the next step that I want to do is I remember a project that I worked on previously that had a nice trellis. And so it's going to save me a little bit of time to reuse that. I'm going to open up the library and I'm going to find that trellis in the previous project that I had. And then I'm just going to place that. I'm actually going to place that in my plan view. So just come over here and just click and place it. Turn that layer on. And now all I have to do is kind of just pull it into position here approximately where I want it. Back into 3D view and now you can see that trellis has been placed. It's a great way to take advantage of work that you may have already have done. So in this last segment we've taken our one story Mediterranean and added our second story and that was a derivative of all of the other designs that we went through in creating this house from the very beginning with the simple little house that had been designed a few decades back. We added the entryway onto it. So the process was and then we extended the gable pop-outs, added a shed pop-out, copied that to the other side of the design, changed our wall types so that we added a shingle shake and a stone and then we curved the roof, added our dormer up there and then we changed it without modifying the floor plan to the Mediterranean style, added our second story up there and then um, wrapped it up. This is kind of the favorite view that I had so we've added our landscaping in there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to go to our website, chiefarchitect.com, you can download a free for either Mac or PC, and you can follow along using the same steps. If you have any questions using the software, please give us a call at Chief Architect, and we can see if we can help you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.